Hi everyone, welcome to Movement Break. My name is Amber Lankford and I'm going to be running you through your 10 minute movement session today. For today's class, no equipment is needed. We're going to be doing all standing exercises. There is one exercise where balance may be just a little bit challenging. And I do recommend that, that if balance is something that we would need to work a little more on, that you move towards um, a support structure that could be a wall, your chair, or your desk for that one movement. I will let you know when that is needed. To begin, let's widen that stance. I want your feet facing forward, the legs a little bit wider than those shoulders. We're gonna take our arms reaching out to the side up to the ceiling, lacing those fingers together. Stretching tall, we're gonna bring both hands over to one side. Back to the ceiling, and then over towards the other side. Return to center, release those hands, and lower them to your side. Let's repeat, we're gonna do three more here today. Reaching tall. Bring it over to one side. And switch. Doing your best to lengthen through that spine. Reaching those arms up and over, getting as much length as possible here. Let's do one more. This time, we're gonna keep those fingers linked. We're gonna bend and place those hands right behind our head. Let's add some rotation. Looking over that left shoulder, rotating as far as you can to the left. Returning to center and then rotating and looking over that right shoulder. And repeat. We're gonna do five to each side here on this one. Doing your best to get just a little bit more rotation through that spine with each repetition. Throughout all of these movements today, I also want you to focus on your breathing, inhaling through your nose and exhaling out through that mouth. Let's do one more rotation in each direction. And then keeping our arms where they are, we're going to round that upper back, dropping that chin down toward their chest, making sure that we're not tugging on that neck. We're just rounding as far as we can. And then opening, lifting that chin up to the ceiling, working on that extension. And repeat, rounding that upper back, pulling those shoulder blades apart. And then squeezing those shoulder blades together, looking up to the ceiling. Let's do two more here. And relax out of that, dropping those hands down to your sides. We're gonna go into some knee hugs next. So we're gonna grab below that kneecap, pulling that knee up towards your chest. We're only holding this for just one second. Trying to pull those knees up as close to your chest as you're able to, keeping that hip nice and open on that stance leg. Chest stays up nice and tall. If we need to, feel free just to do some marches, bringing that knee up without grabbing. Grabbing and pulling, just to add a little bit more of a stretch as opposed to an active movement. Let's do one more each side here. Relaxing out of that, we're gonna stretch those hamstrings out next. So we're gonna stick one leg in front, 
Keeping that front leg straight, we're gonna flex those toes back towards our shin. Our bottom leg here, directly underneath our hip, is allowed to bend, but we're going to bend at that waist. We're reaching those hands down, going as far as you can, straightening tall, switching sides, other leg in front. Keeping that leg nice and straight in the front, we're just gonna bend at the waist. Feel free to brace those hands on your thigh, or if you'd like, you can reach down towards that foot, down towards that ground. We're just trying to get a nice stretch all the way down through the back of the thigh on that front leg. If you are reaching for that foot, feel free to grab and give this a light tug, adding a little bit more of a calf stretch at the bottom here. Let's do one more to each side here. Standing tall, our next movement may require a support structure to help you with some balance. So if you need to, feel free to make your way over to your wall, a chair, desk, couch, whatever you need to help you with some balance. But we are going to go into a little bit of a lunge position here. In our lunge position, we're going to keep our chest nice and upright. We're going to start with that back leg straight, our heel on the ground. From here, all we're going to do is bend that back knee and straighten. Doing your best to keep that back heel as close to the ground as you can. Just adding a nice slight knee bend before straightening. Let's do three more here. On that last one, we're going to hold here. And now keeping that back leg nice and straight, we're going to push through those toes and that back foot, lifting that back heel off the ground and then lowering. So we're adding a single leg heel raise here with that back leg. Trying to push all the way through those toes, getting those calves to activate. Maybe even feeling a little bit of a stretch down the bottom of your foot. Let's do three more. And relax down that, bring that back leg in and switching sides. Opposite leg lunge, chest is upright, back leg starts straight, heel is pressing to the ground. And then we're going to bend and straighten that back leg. Getting a little bit of a soleus stretch here with that bent back knee. Let's do four more. And keeping that back leg nice and straight, we're adding that heel raise, lifting that back heel up and lower. Pushing all the way through that foot, opening up that ankle. Let's do one more. And relax the other left. Bring in both feet in. We're gonna end with a little bit of a shoulder, upper body movement. We're gonna bring those arms up. I want your palms facing the ceiling. Elbows are gonna be tucked in right at your side, keeping those elbows in place. So we're just gonna open and bring those hands out and in. As our hands open, our shoulder blades squeeze. 
We're working on that rotation through that shoulder joint, more specifically that external rotation. Only going as far as you can, stay in a nice comfortable range where you feel a little bit of a stretch, but we're not pushing into anything. Let's do two more here. And relax on that, dropping those arms down. Feel free to give yourself a few shoulder rolls going back and forward. And that is all the movements I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you next time.